Hello and be welcome back to Inebriated Gaming's Let's Play Star Wars The Old Republic with your host me, James. Um, looks like the last video I got a little preemptive. Uh, gave you a big long 2 hour 100th video episode and it was the 99th video. Yeah. Somewhere I did the math wrong. Or you guys are wondering what happened to a certain length of video that's missing. I don't know. But either way, this here now, guaranteed 100% to be the 100th video. So, what do I want to do that's special for it? I already did a two-hour episode. I don't know if I want to do that. But I'm going to figure out something while we're in here. A um, couple of announcements while we head over to where we need to go, which is over here. Uh, one, I don't think I'll be sticking to a set schedule for this anymore. You know, you know how it was uh, it's supposed to be. Um, Wednesday, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. You know, a new video every one of those days. And I haven't been able to really stick to that schedule to begin with. Because of other schedule demands in my personal life. Um, another reason why I want to change from that is uh, it's starting to become to where it's just not. I mean, it's still fun, but it's almost starting to feel like work, like a job. Like, oh, I got to go make this video. I got to make this video. And I, I know I don't have to. I know I only have 21, 22 subscribers at this point. But uh, I like to imagine at least a few of you like to watch these, you know, these Star Wars ones. And the rest of y'all are waiting for something else to come along or something else to come back or, or whatever. But anyway, what I'm going to do instead of uh, having some, some set schedule, I'm going to do my best. I'm going to try to do anywhere from two to three videos a week. You know, set day and, and, and things along that line. And another reason for that is my work schedule. Um, it's been known to change periodically um, because of the, the, the work I do. It's subcontracting, construction, cleanup, uh, strip, wax, buff, floors, uh, um, and other little things like that for the company that I work for. And carpet, a little bit of carpet work. I haven't done carpet for this job yet, but I've got a couple of years cleaning carpet experience as well. But, anyway, that's what's going to happen from now on is no longer a set schedule. Just going to record some game, get it uploaded when I can, try to do it <clears throat> no less than two times a week, but keep the go at three times per week. That way you're still getting the three weekly videos at minimum two. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to worry too much about the length of time of the videos. I'm not, I don't want them all to be two hours long, because that's insane. That, that's ridiculous. I'll feel a lot better when we change bases, Fowler. I don't like this. You say that now, but just wait until you see the real desert. Hey, look who's back, and alive. You able to find anything? Uh, get to the data guy. It's all yours. Ah, uh, Master Fowler? It looks like there's a call coming in. Why, hello everyone. Master Faller, Master Orden. And my little visitor from the Gamorian hideout. Especially nice to see you again. You're doing well, I hope. I know this guy. This man led the Zerka team I encountered. Not a friendly face, then. Since I didn't get the chance before, I thought I'd formally introduce myself. I am Gaim Lexende, here on behalf of Zerka Corporation. Okay. I know that name. I understand that the Republic is disputing Zerka's property rights. I've come to Tatooine to retrieve our belongings, including Camus Orden. Camus is a belonging? You corporate types think you own everything. Because we do. Zerka will take any actions necessary to protect its interests. And I assure you, our representatives in the Senate can excuse any incidents. Lexende. They say he's the son of an executive. He's supposed to run the company's 
special enforcement branch. Rich boy who took up wet works as a hobby. Up to his neck in cybernetics. Good news is, Zerka wouldn't have sent him if we were on the wrong track. He wants to keep us from the old facility. Look, Camus and I could use some time to review this data, but I still need you. If you're heading into the desert, give me a call. Uh, don't make me regret this guy. I'll keep working for you, but I don't like where this is going. Frankly, neither do I. You can reach me from a secure line at one of the militia bases. We'll talk soon. Okay. What do I get? Some shoes. Nothing really worth it. Let's grab those. Yeah. The only equipment I really want to grab is stuff that is actually an improvement for me or for Bodar. Because I have the feeling Bodar is just going to be an awesome tank once he's geared. Because he can hold on to that aggro. I don't like your name, Bodar. But you're, you're all right by me. You hear me? You hear me? Quit staring at me. I don't like the way you, there you go. Look at the ground over there. Come on, elevator. Quit staring at me. Making me feel like you want to eat me. Anyway, as I was saying, yeah, just the, the two to three videos a week. Um, no real set schedule for them. Um, There'll obviously be a day or two in between them, um, for the most part. I'm pretty sure sometimes there's going to be a couple of days in a row or whatever. But seeing we're just doing the one game right now, I don't see any real reason to have a set schedule um, for it. Okay, now we got to go back over here. Any grand that we got our speeder now. Well, we already did a 100th episode special, even though it was the 99th episode we did it on. Um, really, can't think of anything other than a, a lengthier episode. I mean, if I was more well known, I could do something like a live stream or or, or something simple like that. But I'm just not. A big YouTuber. I'm just a guy who makes gaming videos, so live streaming at this point is a bit pre preemptive and presumptuous on my part, I think. I think it would be. Oh, I got enough people who are gonna want to come watch my live stream. Because you gotta think there are people with thousands of, of subscribers that do live streams that only get just a few people watching their live streams at a time. They don't get like a huge audience on them. <clears throat> so. Where are we going, Mr. Uh, taxi welcome. man? Please select an available travel route. We're going back over here, taxi man. Ugh. I do love the way the tattooing looks. I don't know if I mentioned that. It's almost as good looking as what it looked like on Star Wars Galaxies. The only difference is that Star Wars Galaxies is completely open. I could go, you could go pretty much anywhere. on any planet in Star Wars Galaxies. Okay, so we got an MPO. Need to go back to this cantina, apparently. What are you doing, Odar? What is this? Oh, that's probably a... Guy, come talk to me again. Looking good. Glad you could check in. We're getting ready to ship out of Anchorhead. See if we can pick up any signals from the old Zerka base. In the meantime, we got a new lead. Camus hit the jackpot in those files you lifted from the Gamorians. Oh, what have you figured out? One of the files was a personnel listing. 
It named everyone who worked at Circus Tattooing Facility. Most of the employees are long gone, but one stayed on planet after the Zerka base was abandoned. If we can find him, he might be able to tell us where the facility was, what the device is. Maybe we could make Lexende back off. Probably not, but sure. His name is Gromit Kurtzen. For a while, he was something of a drifter. Finally bought a little moisture farm. You, you think know? he'll cooperate with us? Hard to say. He was a security officer back in the day, but that doesn't tell us much. My big worry is that Lexende and his enforcement squad will get to Gromit first. Try to keep him quiet. That's all right. I know how to be fast and discreet. That's right. By the time you're through investigating Gromit, we'll be set up at our new forward base. We... Uh, we will? From there, we can scout the Zerka facility itself. As soon as you find anything, come out and meet us. Let's see if we have any of these heroics that somebody's been asking for. We have... Down the hole. We don't have either one of those. Um... Really? Back over there again? Come on now, damn it. We're just gonna take our speeder that way. Just to be able to see some of the scenery. Big giant lizards. It's a neat looking speeder. This is the free one they give you. In the mail. I don't know why they gave it to me, but they gave it to me. It's a Gromic. It's down here somewhere. Those are hostiles, those droids. No. It's another thing that speeders and galaxies can actually get you somewhere. <coughs> Bodar. Your whiny little whine. Or whiny little growl. Hey, guy. Gromic. Plenty more minutes until I'm leaving. Then the doors are closing, Walner. I love you like a brother, but the doors have to close, huh? You, you weren't here before. You came all the way out to my farm to fix my machines? Gromic? Are you Gromic Kurtzen? Mm-hmm. I'm Gromic. I started to think you wouldn't come. Most shops think it's too dangerous out here. But the sand people, they keep bashing my vaporators. Lizards chew up my guns and alarms. This place used to be a fortress, but I just can't fix things anymore. Are you in danger? Talk to me. Is it just failing equipment or is trouble coming? I don't know. I can't figure out why it's breaking. And my rifle misses. And the creatures get closer every day. You can fix my home, though. Didn't I send the credits to Anchorhead? That's why you're here. Okay, I'll help you. Let's say I am here to repair your farm. Why don't you explain what you need? It's the vaporators, and the perimeter sensors, and, and the emergency guns. They need fixing. I think it was the sand people. Mm -hmm. I have the parts. It's just, I'm scared to leave my home without the sensors working. Uh -huh. Okay, well, we'll fix this. It's shameful. Maybe he'll help I know. Us. Fix his sensors and then he'll help us. Apparently, that person looking for uh, level 25. The name of the guy who was asking for the group. Let's see if we can get in on that. If it's shareable. I'll join you. 
Let's see here. We gotta fix some sensors. Excuse me, little droid. There you go. All right. Let's see here. Accept that quest. Where's it at? Uh, let's see. What's this? Search and rescue. There it is. Okay. Okay. I'll be there in one minute. Let's see if we can get these sensors fixed first. Maybe you're still looking for a healer anyway. Get out of the way. This galaxy belongs to us, he says. Fix this thing with guns. There we go. Man, that was pretty simple. Oh, it hurt our toe. How's this 128 health? I don't even know what our health started out as at level one. But I'm pretty sure back in the day, 128 would have got a good chunk. Hey, guy. The console. It says you fixed everything. You really fixed. Back before, yep. I could have done it myself. Not, Not so, so much, much anymore. anymore. Don't be hard on yourself. Tell me about the old days. You must have been pretty tough back then. You know, I used to be a security guard for Zerka. But they've been gone for years now. They left me alone, and I've stayed by myself. Hmm. You were a security guard. Exactly were your duties at Zerka? I was... I was a security officer at Zerka's Secret Weapons Division 7. I was so proud. What did they do there? Any idea what Zerka was working on? The scientist's project. It was all secret. Zerka never told us what was in that cave. When it all went wrong... I had to lock up the base, leave the others behind. I left the desert and the horrors and went to Anchorhead. What about the base? What horrors? What happened to the facility? Something attacked us from inside. I don't remember. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah, look who it is. I think that's enough from the old man, don't you? Nope. You're Zerka. I recognize your uniform. Pity the sun's dulled his brain. But then I suspect he was never too bright. Yes, Gromic, I'm with Zerka. Hey, you look If it isn't my old buddy, the corporate stooge. Oh, you have a pet name for me. How sweet. Yeah, I do. Zerka found out about Gromic a while ago. We disabled his perimeter sensors and waited to see if anyone would come. You broke my moisture evaporators. Those two, yes. May I continue? Our honeypot seems to have caught a few flies. And now, I'm free to murder you and the old man together. I'll be you won't last two seconds against me. I'm speaking to you from an airship two kilometers above ground. I can target you with turbo lasers and drop droids on your little heads. Go for it, The dude. advantage is mine. Go for it. Do it. Drop some droids on our heads. See what happens. Is he really going to do it? Gromick, hope we got a plan. Uh, we're the only ones here. Turn on the arm, ain't gonna help. Oh. Don't worry, Gromick, I got your back. We have to get to shelter. 
Follow me. You got cool hair. Just like me. Where am I going? He can't get to us here. We'll be safe. Well, that was exciting. I'm disappointed I didn't get to fry you. But I can settle for your asphyxiation. Uh -oh. Enjoy being buried alive, my friends. Enjoy. Alright, Karamik. If I save you, you gotta help us. I don't care if you He's wrong or not. He's wrong. First thought. First... Here. This is a cache. The Circa files I hid years ago. I buried them all over the desert. And this is the first batch. You can have them. I'm sorry about all I didn't mean guy. to involve you with Zerka again. You heard the hologram? Zerka's trying to kill me now. I don't owe them anything. And my friends from the base? They can't be hurt. Now, I had an escape planned when I built this place. There's a back entrance to take you outside. What about you? You can't just stay here. Go on. I need to rest a while. I need to wait until they stop watching my farm. There you go. If you want the other files on Zerka, you'll find them in the desert. Just don't let them get away with this. Alrighty. You gave me what I needed. Alright, here's the back door. At the Zerka farm. All right. Search and rescue. Okay. On my way, be right there. After bio AFK. Okay. All right, guys. I will meet you over in our little area when uh, when we got a full group going and uh, when we're ready to go. So. It'll be a split second for you. Okay, guys. So what we're going to do instead of wait 
we're going to go ahead and do some, uh, we're going to go ahead and collect these things real quick, these catches that we need. My we're over here. Chaka! Get him, Bodar. Mine. Mm. Oh, my friend. That's what our stuff's supposed to look like when we're done fighting there, Bodar. Okay, let's head over to this one. I'm trying to avoid the combat, because this will be just a short little clip within the episode. Because as soon as we're done collecting these, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, pause the recording while... I head over there and wait for the group to get together. Unless they've already got it together b by then. Because I think they want a healer. And lately I've been playing, when I'm not recording, but playing anyway, I've been playing a Sith Warrior. Uh, which, yeah, I know I've already got one at level 50. But I'm playing, uh, not exactly light side. But more light side than dark side. My first Sith Warrior was totally dark side. Um, he was just an evil bastard. But this guy, he's like... Uh, he's dark side only because the Jedi can't. Uh, the, the Jedi rules don't uh, really work well for him. Because he's a... Uh, okay, don't tell me that shit's up there. Is that shit up there? No, here it is. Yeah. Oh. But, uh... Anyway, yeah, he's, he's, uh... He's a lover. He's not a fighter. He's all into his lady friends. He's lady weakness, just like this guy, except for to the nth degree kind of situation. Uh, and, he, and he's not—he's a nice guy too. He just—he's no Jedi. He just happened to be born a Force sensitive within the Sith world, and he had the smarts to be, you know be the bad guy when he had to be but for the most part he's just a fun loving guy he's basically uh, Enib the gun happy gunslinger type if he happened to be a Sith instead <laughs> pretty much except for his weakness for the ladies is a lot more than uh, old uh, Enib here Let's see if we can grab this without that thing getting all butt hurt there we go we got it Okay. Alright, we have to head down over here. And I guess I'll meet you over here by this guy. I'm just going to go wait with him. And uh, we'll pick up the recording once we get that ready to go. So, we'll get that going. Alright, so until then. Holy shit, guys. I completely forgot to turn on the recording. <laughs> uh, it's a different group, but it's the same quest. But we're barely into it. We haven't even really done anything yet. We're just killing our way up to to the bad guys here. Basically, the quest itself is just kill a bunch of shit and then rescue some prisoners. We haven't rescued a single prisoner yet. So basically, what you're looking at now is all that we've been doing. Off of me. If I had noticed that joy down there, I'd have CC'd him. 
die already. But anyway, here we are. It's my group. Fatal Assassin, Raz T. Thanks to all that There's is good. Prisoner. Where's our Jedi guy? Here he is. Not a hero. I think he didn't work. Yeah, well, maybe he did. Yeah. I try to do that for people just in case they're free to play, like me. And don't want to use up all their, like, planetary per. I think you get, like, five per planet. But I'm sticking with Fatal Assassin because he's level 40. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, enjoy it. It's fairly short, really sure it yeah. is. Get away from me. Help me, guys. Damn it. See what I did there? That I auto target went to that. Damn it. Alright, guys. My auto target. Them. That's right, I'm blaming the auto target. I ain't taking accountability for that. I wasn't even facing those guys, was I? Looks like I'm the noob on the team today. Yep, you're looking at me dead. Look at that. You don't see that too often, though. No, don't get killed. Did he release? No, he's over there. Oh, it was Rasty that was dead. Prisoner sitting right there. I'll talk to him. My savior. Ah. Where's another prisoner at? Here's one. Thank you. 
This is our fourth guy. Thank you. Turn to Danabar Hugh. That's way up here. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to forget to turn the recording on. Avoiding using explosives because I don't want to aggro anything. Got them all. Let's get our energy back. Oh. We can leave now. We can go this way. We're done here. Yeah, we're done. Sorry, guy. Everyone else is gone. Run away. Report your ailments. You are fit for duty. Return to your post. Yeah, I'm trying to find the, uh, which is right over here. Do left the group. It's crazy. We also got another quest over there, so I guess it's kind of a good thing. I only got in the last part of that heroic. It wasn't much to it, just killing a bunch of those guys and then rescuing those four people that you saw us rescue. So we're not taking up a whole freaking heroic. Our whole video with just a kind of a generic heroic. You've we done better than I ever this. expected. My friend Jed, his wife, and both his daughters have come home. Tana Moss, too. What about your daughter? I noticed there's one name you left off that list. I. I guess she didn't make it. She was Papa. the one. To... Papa! Hey, she made Layla. it. Layla! Oh, my Layla! Are you alright? If they heard one hair on your. It was awful. 
But we don't need to worry anymore. I don't think your friends left enough of them to get revenge on. Thank you. That was just amazing, having you burst in there like some holodrama hero. What's your name? That's enough. Don't go being too grateful. No. It was nothing. It's so hard to be humble, knowing how great I am. That's right. You've given me back the only important part of my life. I can never thank you enough. Now go to Anchorhead, love. I don't want you here until this place is secure. I don't know what brought you to Tatooine, but I'll be grateful every day that you are here. Alright. I guess the actual mission was to rescue him. I've already looked at these helmets. They kind of suck. And look how stupid they look. That dumb. You think I'm giving up my shades for that shit? Hell no. We're taking these. Alright. Now. While we're here, we picked up a mission to place some sensors around the area. Don't know what to do there. Let's see. What's it called? Goodwill. As part of this initiative, he needs you to place perimeter sensors to scan for dangers in the area. Place the sensors in rock embankments near the farmstead in the northern Jutland Wastelands. Okay. So that's just in the rocks. Here's a rock. Let's see if that's what they mean. Yeah. Exactly what they mean. Why didn't you finish this, this guy off? Oh, wow. Jeez, you goofy bastard. There you go. Um, need more rocks. Just looking for little blue ones. I don't want near these sand people. Knock them out of range, both of our sensors. Can we go back into the farm? All right, guy, I've placed your sensors. Get over the damn thing. I just received a delegation from one of the outer settlements that said the censors had already helped them repel an Anuba attack. Nice. They want to discuss a formal alliance with the Republic. Cool. I cannot thank you enough. I'm glad they're safe. Tatooine is a dangerous place to call home. You know, when I first came here, I admit I was hoping not to stay. I mean, the weather alone. But the people here, they've got something you just don't see on Coruscant. I'm glad we have them on our side. Yeah, buddy. We're gonna take. Ooh, that looks nice. No, it's a patron. I don't want a patron mod. Cause I go for I think skill mods. Yeah, skill, not patron. Patron will probably be better for like uh, the other smuggler one, scoundrel. I don't know. What 
the hell? I can't move. I can jump. Okay, guys, sorry about that. I figured out what was going on. Somehow I had, had the control button smacked. So I hit control and it started working again. But I hit escape and that closed out the window. And that's why there's a break in the recording. But I can move now. So let's keep going. Um, looks like that, that. And we got to go probably back up and around. Is there a, like a taxi or anything around here, guys? I don't see one. No, I'm not seeing one. I wonder why they ain't got a damn taxi over here. Look, it's the blimp. The balloon. I know what that's for. We have one of them on the dam. Sith side too. That's for getting a Datacron around here. And uh, it's a pain in the ass. It really is. And I think it's a strength Datacron, so no, we're not going to go after it. Unless you really want me to show you how it's done. And you could let me know in the comments, which you won't do. <laughs> Of course, like a year from now, when people are actually watching these, they're, they're leaving the comments. Oh, I want to see that. And this character will be long gone. Deleted. Come on. It's a little rat thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Aren't rude. Not really a road. Well worn path. Sand peoples. Unstable defense drawings. I go the wrong way. I totally went the wrong way. I really did. Holy shit, guys. How come you didn't warn me? Yeah, right. You're probably done. Daddy, you're going the wrong way. We're going to get more done. Don't worry. You look by how, how long the damn video is, and you'll see. Oh, shit. There's still some more shit to watch. Let me go ahead and skip past him driving there. I think we gotta go up that way. This little path here. I thought it was up this way. I thought this would come up, and then it just turns into this thing. So, and that looks like a uh, sand people settlement. That's what it looks like to me. It's a dewback. What's up, old old man? He's an aging dewback. He's old. Bye bye, dewback. Remember the guy Skavik told us our ship handled like a, I think he said a drunken dewback. That's what he was talking about, one of them things. But these are aging, not drunken. Imagine if it was drunk, though. Oh, growling at us. Alright, we're getting to the right area. Yeah, Heroic would have been the next thing we go to now because we would have been headed over here. And, uh. Yeah, see. 
I want to stumble upon that little area anyway. Destroyed. Hey, it's a thingy. There you go. Welcome. Please select an available travel route. Clicky on it. And a mission. What's up, guy? Don't be speaking. I'm coming in. You're here to complain about the sand people, right? Took a shot at you. You're not the first child to play a tag. You won't be the last either. You're lucky you're in one piece. I'll tell you what I'll tell you. There's nothing I can do. Too many of them and not enough of me. I hadn't heard anything. Apparently I missed some important details. You mean you didn't get shot at? Well, you're one of the lucky ones. Some people are acting more prepared for girls than usual. Sand people. Crazy natives are shooting everything that crosses the wastes. Get those rifles away from them. That'd save me a world of trouble. Um, there's some kind of reward, dude. What's the upside for me? I'll scrounge up some sort of payment for you and you decide to help out. I'll be here to take those rifles off your hands. Go bust some heads. I sound like he'd be heroic. And that's very reminiscent of a side quest in Knights of the Old Republic, in which, uh, ooh, yeah, mail, in which you get their gaffy sticks. Successful item sale. Sweet, yeah, I'm sticking the blues in there. Twin sons. From somebody gets cash, delete. I don't care about you. Successful item sale. Sweet. There we go. Let's go. Yeah, we're getting some credits up. 41,000. Uh, okay, going around in here. Excuse me, guys. Come through. I hate that people use their speeder for everything. Like it kind of doesn't make a whole hell of a lot of sense to me. Another quest. Mission. Wraith Bang. I don't know what to do, Ton. They have me. But you're a hero, Wraith. The supplies you've snuck back to us are the only reason we've lasted this long. Don't give up now. It's over, Ton. I can't even protect the ones I love. I'm just a glorified thief, not a hero. Look there. Someone like that would never let their loved ones fall into the hands of vicious pirates. Not like me. Huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back up and start over. A gang of pirates has taken the ones I love most. They want to make me suffer for crossing them. Pirates think that just because Tatooine is off the beaten path, they can do whatever they want here. That's pretty they much murder, the steal, burn. Wraith was the first one to stand up to them. I merely returned what had been stolen, and when the scumbags realized they'd never catch me, they took my loved ones instead. I've no means to pay the ransom, and a rescue mission would be suicidal. Some hero I turned out to be. Would I get paid if I helped? I could deal with this problem, if I had the right incentive. Yeah. To help Wraith? Of course. I'll take up a collection to make sure your work is rewarded. All right. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Just. Please make sure they don't come to harm. Alrighty. Make those scumbags pay. Alrighty. That sounds like heroic. No. Not yet. Alright, let's go in here. Try to appreciate the scenery, Camus. Most people never get to visit a place like this. This is a horrible place. No wonder Zerka built their base in the Dune Sea. No one would ever want to look for it here. They'll adjust. How was your visit to Old Man Gromick? Just a few problems. Aside from Luxende burying us alive, it went all right. Too much to hope we'd seen the last of him. Mind if I see what you got for your troubles? I got these from four different places. Gromick and three other little hidey holes. These are official Zerka records from Secret Weapons Division 7. That's what I said. Schematics, survey maps, 
Looks like Gromit came through for us. Don't go anywhere. I think we're gonna need you. Great. Sigh. All right. We should be able to determine a rough location of the base from these charts. All right. Problem is, the sands have shifted over the last few decades. We'll need some geo readings to determine the facility's exact coordinates. How do we do that? What does taking these readings involve? The data isn't hard to get, in theory. I can give you a field scanner that'll dip into the sand, put us on track. But All right. a lot of this territory is unexplored. Locals talk about sand people communities, crate dragons the size of starships. Uh... You trying to scare me off? It's almost like you don't want me to risk my life. If you take readings in a couple of places, I can figure out the base location. Meet me back here when you're done. Take it slow and be careful. All right. Um, ooh, pants. Bodor. Let's see here. What is it? Bodor pants. 30 endurance. 27. Higher strength, 5 defense rating. Yeah, we'll take those. We'll take both of our pants. Where'd they go? Bam. Both of our pants. He doesn't wear them, though. It's a shame. He needs to wear his pants. Alrighty. So we got another one up this way. What's up, Mayor? Hey. Kunta Chuta. Well, you just out a way that this won't all fall back on me. This is oh, the election year. Oh, Granny Tampio da Pushi Wumpa. Poo to la Musta. Sorry, that wasn't meant for public years. Twin Sun Pirates have been harassing Kuta. us since the day I became mayor. And now they want to take our... Mine 90%. Take our mine. 90% of this town works that mine. Oh, they want to take the mine. Why don't you just put a fucking comma? Or a semicolon? See the little freaking squiggies or the little lines? Is it valuable? Yeah. Does it bring in enough to be worth the twin sun's attention? Ni at ambumpa or shuda mokili moklanki. This is pocket change. Ta uz azulas uval tung mi chakurka di maji. to drive the twin suns. But they've had no luck so far. Stopped reporting back a few days ago. Imache, churon chica jiliska chanaga. If you finish what they couldn't, the town would be in your debt. You have my word. Consider me signed on. Kuchusa yo mata chitoya. Nam kanoya choski nawi. Chonki faguta. Chiho koda chito vokise. Put this care on. All right, all right, all right, all right. What is it? That's the heroic. Down the hole. It's all up in that area. Okay, okay guys, this is kind of long. Hey! Don't snow at me, fool! Now I got all snowy. Anyway. This has gotten a bit long. I'm going to go ahead and get it started upload. And then I will be recording some more sessions because I want to keep playing. So uh, thank you for watching, as always. And don't forget to click the like button if you liked it. Um, and I know this wasn't as special as our 99th, 100th video. <laughs> but this is our 100th video. Ends with me jumping around with snow. Again, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.